Hi my lovelies! Today's video we are going to transform this wall in my husband's studio and we are going to place a rustic wood wall on it. You will need some plank panels. I got these at Home Depot. And also a nail gun. This is the Ryobi nail gun from Home Depot. This DIY is really the easiest DIY we've ever done. And basically what these panels are they come in a pack of six and they are around $11 at Home Depot. They are the click type of paneling so you can just click them in and it is so simple to put up. All you really need is a nail gun. If you don't have a nail gun, you can definitely just use a screws and a hammer. That will definitely work. My husband is definitely enjoying this DIY and how easy it is. All you have to do is use your nail gun and look how quick and easy it is to put this wood up. It is a really fun DIY and a perfect way to add character to your room. So just make sure you measure and sometimes you might not get it the first time because I know with this piece it was really hard for us to actually get it perfect because this end piece right there, Daryl was trying to punch it in, to tap it in. He used a roller to hit it, try to hit it in and it just was not working. So after 5,000 attempts he decided to just cut it again. And here is the moment of truth. Yeah. <laughs> Now it's time for my favorite part. So you will need a stain pad or a rag. I bought this, this is my first time trying it, and you will need some wood stain. I have dark walnut and fruit wood. I mix these two to get the perfect color. You will also need a paintbrush to use on the corners. So first just open it and I am using a straw to stir it around and you will see the difference here on what it's supposed to look like. And also just stir around your other stain. And now you just make your concoction. I went with a little bit more of the light color because my husband wanted a more light color than dark. So now I just mix the two and get the perfect color. It looks really, really cool to me. I love staining. It's like a hobby of mine. So I really look forward to this part. And I am using this new stain pad for the first time. It was horrible guys. I always use a rag. I don't know what I was thinking trying to be all fancy with the stain pad, but as you see here, the rag definitely does its part. I am just using the stain pad to get the excess stain that was left over because I don't want to waste anything, but I hated that thing. I definitely do not recommend it. I definitely recommend you just using a rag. It works best. It penetrates in a lot better so definitely use a rag and go with the grain like you're seeing here I am going in a line I never like to go in circles or just go in different directions the best thing to do when staining is to always go with the grain now you may use the rag and you may go in different directions for a couple of a couple of seconds but you always should go back to staining in the direction of the wood and this is what I use the paintbrush for. I use it on the corners and it just works very, very well. Just make sure you mix it in to where it goes with the stain. You don't wanna be able to tell that something else was used while blending it. Okay, so here I was dancing to JLo, <laughs> no shame. But you guys, this is a perfect way to add some character to a room. This accent wall was made for less than, I'd say, $40. And that's amazing because we already had the nail gun. All you need is wood and a nail gun and stain that costs four bucks and you're good to go. Look at the finished product. I still have to finish by painting the crevices that are really hard to get. I need to go in there with probably like an eyeshadow brush or something, which I haven't done yet. 
But look how gorgeous this looks. It just adds so much character. My husband is going to love it. He hasn't seen it yet, so he's going to be surprised. I just love the contrast between the white and the brown. It just looks perfect with the dark blue. It is a perfect gentleman studio slash office, and I'm so excited with the way it's turning out. I have way more videos coming soon with a lot more DIY, so stay tuned for that. Okay, you ready to look at your wall? I'm ready. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Wow. Like, that's crazy, baby. Like, it looks so authentic. That's beautiful. That, like, elevates the room. Like, How about the colors? Is that what you wanted? Because I know you wanted to go with the more absolutely, red, absolutely, orange. Absolutely. Like, but see, it, it comes out, like, right here. That's what I did. And, like, in here ish, like, that's beautiful. That's exactly. Because I, I don't want to be too dark. But it has some dark spots within it, which is awesome. That's what I did. So you like it? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Good. I swear. 